Global cyber attack is hitting home. It's even shut down the biggest terminal at the Port of Los Angeles. And it looks like the, that terminal will stay closed all day long. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in San Pedro with what's going on. Cara? Yeah, not clear at this point who is behind this massive cyber attack, but take a look at what it did here. This uh, terminal at the port here, a little ghost town today. The gate's closed. I don't know what happened. Truckers who didn't get word this port's largest terminal would be shut down a second day showed up and waited. Thank you for the information. You know, I guess I'm going to go back and get another run or go to a different port. It's been an eerie standstill at the normally bustling 8 p.m. terminal. The Danish shipping company that works out of it, Maersk, confirms it was hit during yesterday's massive cyber attack. Hackers crippled more than 2,000 computers around the world and are demanding users pay ransom to get control back. CBS News' national security analyst talked about why the virus has spread so quickly. They haven't found a kill switch to this one yet. And this is more, once this is out in your system, it sort of propagates itself without direct commands from the hackers. The Ukraine and all of Europe has been hit hard, with power grids, government offices, banks and grocery stores targeted. But the cyber attack also took aim at several U.S. companies, including drug maker Merck and food companies. At the port, a spokesperson says no ships were scheduled to come or go from 8 p.m. yesterday or today, so the impact has been minimal. Victor Godinez knew something was wrong when the dozens of trucks that usually line up here didn't show. He's frustrated by what he sees as modern-day pirates taking this terminal hostage. People don't like to work anymore, you know. It just messes up for everybody else. Back here live, no trucks waiting at these gates now. It appears the hackers behind all this went after governments and companies. We've just uh, gotten reports that FedEx is the latest victim. It is warning that certain shipments may be delayed. Now, Jeff and Sharon, uh, many people who have private computers wondering what they can do as a precaution to try and protect them. If you're using Windows, you'll want to make sure you have the latest updates installed.